In this video, we'll balance the equation for AlBr3 plus Cl2. This is aluminum bromide plus chlorine gas. Let's count the atoms up. One aluminum atom, three bromine atoms, and two chlorine atoms. Product side, one aluminum, two bromine atoms, and three chlorine atoms. It looks like, why don't we try to get the bromines here to an even number? If we can do that, then we can balance these on this side. So I can put a 2 in front of the AlBr3. 1 times 2, I'll have 2 aluminum atoms. But for the bromine, 2 times the 3 here, that'll give me 6. So that'll make it easy to fix the bromine atoms. And since bromine's by itself, that's pretty easy to fix. We could put a 3 here, 2 times 3. That'll give us 6. So that's balanced. Then for the chlorine, we need to do the same thing. Let's get this to an even number. We could put a 2 in front of the AlCl3. So 1 times 2. That actually balances the aluminum. Then the 3 times the 2. That'll give us 6 chlorine atoms. Easy enough to fix. Chlorine's by itself. 3 is our coefficient. 2 times 3. That gives us 6. This equation is balanced. So the key here is when you've got an odd number, like we had 3 and then 3 here, getting that to an even number can make the equation much easier to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AlBr3 plus Cl2, aluminum bromide plus chlorine gas. Thanks for watching.